What's going on guys? It is my zombie project and we're back with Ascension as my second video of Ascension arrives where we're going to be doing part two of my um, high round run. Now I've gone down once and that was on round 30 because I, I finished my I finished my, ro my low round strategy at round 30 so I was just spraying Mustangs at the ground to just like finish all the um, whatchamacallit, ammo in it. And then um, yeah. So, and then I saw Max Ammo. I ran out of ammo of them. So I threw a Gersh. Um, and I got stuck on something back there. And, um, I died. And because I have my last quick revive, you ask? Why? Um, because I, uh, I, um, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, I let the monkey seal the quick revive. I was like, I so grabbed that. What the heck? Wow, so it's, it's like a minute, it's like a minute two hordes for two hordes. One minute for like two hordes, basically. A minute, a minute and like 15 seconds, around there. A minute and 15 seconds for two hordes. It's pretty good. Mob of the Dead, it's only one horde, so. Alright, I'm just gonna relax. I'm like up on my chair. I'm in the best training spot in all the zombies, so I could just relax. By the way, I made you some top five videos. I can't edit it though, because I don't know how to. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I will. Um, I will do that. But yeah, exactly. I will um, do some top five videos. I'll do like gameplays while while I'm doing the top five video. Um. So yeah. I may just do like a quick top five video now. Uh, what do you want? Top five maps? Cause I have I have the top five maps in my head. Uh, I'll just list them. Uh, I like buried for five just because of the colors, the western feel, all that sort of stuff. Um, and like the witch's house, the pack a punch. The Wonder Weapon was newbie though, but I like the concept how they like pushed a limit and they, and they made us fly. It didn't make it easy though, and it didn't make the the weapon newbie. And the map was easy too, but overall uh, it was a solid map, and I really liked it, especially with Leroy and all that stuff. Um, I, number four, I like Mob the Dead personally. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is the colors, but otherwise. There are these gangsters on a, on a famous jail spot, Alcatraz. Um, the strategy that you use on it is awesome. My low round strategy is also awesome. And um, I just really love that map. I don't know what to say about it. Like, it's just so hard to explain. Like, the plane, Brutus. Like, they added so much detail as well. Now, this may surprise my friends. Um... This, but not for, like, subscribers out there, because my friends and I hate this map. I even hate this map. But three is Origins, and I like it because you can have... The only reason why I like it, I don't really like it going for a high round or anything, but I like it because um, you, have, you have four Wonder Weapons to choose from. You can make them into Ultimate. They're boss when they're Ultimate. Um, you have the Panzer, you have the Tank, you have all th this little stuff. They put in so many concepts. Oh yeah, and same with Mob of the Dead. Like, they put in, like, the Golden Spork, the Retriever. Like, just, like, the concepts made it so fun. And number two, this is going to surprise probably all my subscribers, but number two is actually the map I'm playing on right now, Ascension. Now, the reason why um this is is because um you have the best, one of the best Wonder Weapons out there, one of them, like, in the top three. Um, and you have, like, these, like, you can train anywhere. You can even train, like, right beyond that Speed Cola spot where the lander is. You can even train there. You can train anywhere. And, and the map is fun. It doesn't get boring because it's too easy. Like, Barry, I, I, I felt like that was a little too boring. But this one, I'm actually, like, on my feet... Like, I'm playing it non-stop. It's because you actually train. You don't camp like Barry. 
thought I'd just call that lander in. <laughs> um, but it's just like, ugh, I don't know how to explain it. You guys probably feel what I'm saying. But some of you don't like Ascension as much as I do. And now number one, I'm pretty sure this is obvious. If you guys don't say that this is number one, well, that's, I, I just won't believe it. Number one is obviously Kino. If if you don't say it's Kino, that's where zombies really all started. The Reese kind of was where it all started, but Kino was kind of where they really took zombies to the next level and stuff. Like, Natural and Tilton was a really fun map. Like, there was no storyline to it, no perks, but like, it was just like too plain. And then they added like all the they really pushed the limit and they and they added like a lot of stuff like they um added the thunder gun which was one of the best one weapons ever um they didn't add in that many stuff that much stuff they did add the um fire trap uh what else did they add any other perks? Um, they did add Mule Kick, but that was released at Moon, and it had, and then it gave it all the other maps. So that doesn't really count. Um, what else? I mean, it's just a really awesome map, and I just love it. It's a really fun map to play on. It's where zombies all started for me, and then I got Black Ops 2, and I played multiplayer. Like, I played Kino, and I was so bad at zombies, I only got to round six. And I and I just played it for fun. Like I'd play in mornings before I go to school. That's how bad I was. Like I I would have time to do it before I went to school. And this was back. This is back when I was like six, by the way. So don't like. And I was getting to like around like six. So. And then one time, um, what you call it? I was just like. I bought Black Ops 2 because I played Black Ops 1, and I played multiplayer on Black Ops 1 um, a little more than zombies, actually. And then, so once I did that, um, I got Black Ops 2, and uh, my friend's like, this is how zombies all started for me, by the way. This is, like, I, I know this isn't talking about Kino, I'm done talking about the top five, but, like, this is how zombies all started. My friend's like, let's try out zombies. We go on transit, and get ready for this. I fell in love with the map, okay? Okay? Because I didn't know what zombies were supposed to be like. I didn't know about the colors and stuff. Because all I had was on Kino um, back in the day. I didn't even have five. Like, I didn't go to the computer or complete the campaign. Um, I think I was really close to com complete. No, I was, like, at the beginning missions, and I got stuck. I was six, though, so don't blame me. So, um, yeah. And then, so I played Transit, and uh, my friend was like, I met my cousin, was like, he was like really good, he was on round eight, and he was like surviving at the diner with just like a cheekum, and I'm like, wow, you're really good, and I was like heading off to the farm already, and like, oh, uh, I remember getting to round 20 with him, and I was doing like, we were like camping right by the AK spot, um, and stuff like that. It was just such good times, and like I liked the map just because I didn't I didn't know how to map out stuff by heart. So like I was exploring all this new all these new parts of the map, and like when you're new to a map, you probably know what it what it's like. You're like, whoa, I haven't expected this in a while. Or like when you're new to zombies, you're like, I don't even know how to train. I'm just gonna hold off and have a good time with my friends. But now it's just like, alright, well, I'm training, I'm really focused into the game, it's not, like, fun anymore. And that's what makes zombies not as fun for me. I wish I could go back to just, like, doing, having fun with my friends and stuff. But I still do, like, we do challenges and stuff. Like, I did a challenge with my friend where we'd, um, sit in the A94 room on Die Rise. Um, it was really fun. And, like, we just do all these challenges just to, like, um, have a good time. Um, I could do f top five wonder weapons. I think I'll just do, like, as many as I can think of right now. Uh, yeah, I'll do top five wonder weapons. Why not? Um, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that everybody's just gonna disagree what I have for number one, though. 
Oh, wait, I haven't even thought about this, though. Like, I thought about the maps. Hmm. Let me see. Number five on my list has to be... Oh, yeah. No, that should be higher in the, in the list. Do, do, do. What was a really good Wonder Weapon? I'm, I'm actually, like, blank-minded right now on what Wonder Weapons there are. Um, five Wonder Tower. Oh, yeah. No, wait, no, that should be way, that should be way farther in the list. Um, one that's right before that. Ah. I actually just might go old school. I might, I might just go like newbie style. Actually, number five has to be the pre-patched. Hear me, pre-patched paralyzer. Now the reason why I say pre-patched was because um after round seventy now the paralyzer becomes useless and um you can't sit on top of the bank and you have to do the resonator strategy in the jug spot. So that sucks, but it was still a really fun weapon to use. It got boring though, like to just sit like and be like a noob just like flying around with it everywhere. But I think it was a really cool design. You know I'm you know I'm eager for that drop. The one zombie I kill it drops something. Watch it be a max. Nah, I think it, it looks like an insta kill. No, nah, wow. Oh wait no, I have to do it this way. Risk it for a biscuit. Oh, and there's round 39. Sweet. Um, sweet. Sweet Jesus. There's round 40. Glad I stuck around here. Hey, those ugly monkeys are stealing my stamina. Okay, I guess they didn't want to spawn a lot this this round. Oh well, round forty on ascension. By the way, my second highest round on this map is like 16, so I'm actually pretty happy I got this far. 40 is actually pretty decent. Uh, that this is when I say like I have it's like a mid round. Like I start calling 40 like mid round and like 50 mid round, but once I get to 60, it's like a high round because I don't I don't get to 60 a lot, but I get to I can get to 50 like all the time. Well, I max that I know very well that is. And I know this map not too well. I just got it like a week. A week ago. Yeah, this is I've had this map for only a week. Oh. Oh Yeah. That's how you juke. This is how we juke it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like shaking your head no with the zombies. No. No, no. No, no. Eh. Number four on my list, I'd have to say, is the, um, 
whatchamacallit, the wave gun. I love the wave gun. It's such a good gun. Like, you have these two really buff pistols. They're like the Wonder Walk, but only kill, like, one zombie at once. And it's just like, I think that they're insta-kill. I have, I've never played the Matt Moon, but I think, that I'm pretty sure that they're insta-kill. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong, because I'd like to know. Um, as I really want to buy Moon. I bought, I bought the map pack moon, like, it said launch, it said launch zombie players in a space, but it gave me all the classic maps, so like, Nox, Verrucked, Shino, Numa, uh, what else, uh, Doris, um, yeah, that's it, and then, um, it gave me, what, what else did it give me? Oh, no, it didn't give me anything else, actually. Um, I'm just going so blank-minded, because I'm just, like, trying to focus. But it didn't give me anything else. So I'm like, why didn't it give me Moon? Like, it gave me the classic map. It gave me everything but Moon. I was like, what? And I have Shangri-La, okay? I have Shangri-La, but not Moon. Don't make fun of me. And I can't buy the real map Moon, because I already wasted all my money. So, I'm in a point now where I'm like, ugh! So like 2015, wow. And he still plays zombies. Yeah, I never get bored of zombies. Ever. I probably never will. Um, number three on my list has to be the gun I'm holding right now. Or no. Yeah. Number three has to be the gun I'm holding right now. By the way, if I miss a gun that you guys really like, leave it down in the comments. And I'll tell you if I really don't like that gun or if I really do. Um, but I like the, I like the thunder gun just because, like, and the, I find it glitchy, though. Like, if you shoot one shot and then you shoot a shot right after that, it won't register. And, um, you, you can go down because of that. Um, that sucks. Also, the only reason why it's not number one as well is because, um, it's ammo capacity. Um, I don't like how much ammo you can hold in it. Um, but overall, insta-kill gun, really fun to use. One of my favorite out there, and yeah, I'm sure all you guys love it as well. Um, now number two, everybody's gonna flame the baby gun. Now if you don't agree with me, I'm gonna block you, and that's what we're gonna go with. You can leave right now, I don't need your sub. You can just go right now. I post zombies for my friends and for some subscribers who actually care about my opinions. Okay? The baby gun is boss. Okay? It has way more ammo than the thunder gun. It's still an insta-kill gun. Like, th like the thunder gun. You do need, like, you do need to, like, run over them and stuff. But, like, it's still really good. And... If you guys don't, if you guys never tried the baby gun, you have to, because it's actually a really good gun. The only reason why I think it's underrated is because, um, it's on Shangri-La, which not a lot of people like it. I personally like the map. It's a fun map. Like, the colors and stuff, and it's really fun to go for a high round on it. So, I don't understand why people just don't like that map. I really don't. It's a really good map. Um, and... You have 48 bullets with the baby gun when you pack a punch it. And you have 30 bullets non pack a punch. Non pack a punch version has more than the pack a punch version of the of the Thunder Gun. Okay? So I wouldn't be talking right now. You can try to defend your Thunder Gun, but I'll never change my mind ever. Now, I know I left one out. I'll, I'll leave an honorable mention. I was supposed to put this in. Um, but I'll leave an honorable mention. And that's the Ice Staff. I really love that weapon. Don't get me wrong. It's really a gun. I was going to put it in, but I just forgot. And now, um, I have to put number one in of obvious. It's obvious what's going to come. If you say... That you 
disagree, again, just leave. But number one, the best wonder weapon in zombies, and probably the best weapon in zombies ever, is the Slick of Fire. I could basically end the video there and pretty sure like half of my subscribers will be like, yep, I agree. But just because some of my subscribers don't don't agree with me, I want to change your minds. So I'm talking about the pre pass liquid fire and the post pass. This gun is too good to even talk about. You can kill 400 to 500 zombies with one shot. What the heck? No gun will ever be able to do that ever again. Unless a trailer goes boss. But that won't happen, I don't think. So, yeah. But, I, I just... And now with the with the post patch version, you can unpatch the gun to make it as good as it used to be. Okay, so you can still kill 400 to 500 zombies with one shot. It can still happen. The the slick of fire is just an all around beast. If you don't agree with me, you don't have to. Okay. So that's it. That's all I'm gonna talk about. I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye.